Hey guys, Basil and Wolf from Grayson Hobby, and as you can see, we're on site. We're on a local flying field, and we're gonna do a speed test of the new Dytone seventh anniversary 548. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and give us a big like. Um, we have we'll do more videos if you guys like these speed tests. I know prior videos we get lots of great comments about them. So this one a little faster for the shop. We had to come out here to the field. We had to get take our crap and pack it on up. So a little more effort involved than one of these guys. I did a quick pass of the, at the uh, in front of the shop and I was like, oh no, not yeah. happening. <laughs> Dietone came out the quad. Now you will see the production one when you get it would have a flat top plate for if you want to use a GoPro or like that. This one I did change to the optional canopy it comes with. It comes with a shark it. fin canopy. Yeah. Other than that, it's bone stock. I did change the rates and set my flight modes and that's it I right. didn't do any pit tuning or anything like that these props you'll see here are Dow 5046s you'll see why later in the video it does come with 5149 props um, from gym fan receiver install this by the way is a RXSR it does feature a no solder connection it comes pre-installed with a connector to plug straight into it okay so you do not have to solder up the receiver all you have to do is plug it in uh, double sight tape the receiver somewhere mount your antennas use some zip ties whatever it comes with zip ties and get some shrink tube or tape or whatever and you're good to go. So that mounts just like the 249, 349 um, in terms of plugging. Similar, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a speed test of this guy. We're going to go up and down at this flight line as fast as this thing will go. We're going to run it on 4S. This is the 4S version because they do make a 4 and 6S, but this is going to be the 4S. Why? That's Why what not? we have. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to apply it with the Longbow 1300 ADC battery, the GMB 1500 milliamp 130 C battery, and then two different prop variations we're gonna use is the Gemfan 5149s that come with the quad, and then we're gonna also use uh, Dow Cyclone 5046s. Okay. So that's a little bit of combinations we're gonna do yeah. there to just try different speeds and see what we can get out of this quad. All right, so, all right, without further ado. Here all right, I have the uh, radar gun and the camera set up. Let's go check on Will. Uh, which battery pack is this, Will? Uh, this is a Longbow. Longbow. It's a 1300. Yeah, Longbow 1300 ADC. 1300 ADC. Going for the real short flights with lots of bursts. It says it's 100 degrees today. We got a wind that's going to be looking from Will from left to right according to the uh, windsock. Usual. Have the pocket radar hooked up. I got my cell phone charging here to get a good view because I will not be in the line of fire. This is an AMA sanctioned field, so we're behind the gate. If you're new to this channel, Grace and Hobby is a shop located outside of Atlanta, Georgia, where we sell and ship out quads and airplanes and drone parts and everything of sorts. Everything you see on our website is located here in our good old USA warehouse right outside of Atlanta. <laughs> All uh, right, you're gonna pass once. I'm gonna run out there and see if it works. Wow, that's some screaming. 110. Holy sh! Oh my god, that sounds like the. I don't know if I didn't read it or not. Or I got there late. That is wicked. Uh. I don't know. Well, no, it's not me. It's the uh, radar gun. It says continuous. Let me get down the. Yeah. Doesn't say anything. Cont Ready? Yeah. Seventy-one. That was because you're way under the side. I was yawning. Yeah. I can't, I, I don't know if I'm just missing it because I'm, I know, but, and maybe not reading it, maybe it just needs to set the radar gun up. That definitely got it. I, I didn't go out there. Chicken. Just a little chicken. <laughs> that thing sounds dope though, why is that making that crazy sound? Body or the props? This battery, I've already installed. Okay. I'll sit right here waiting for you. One twenty six. Alright, it just doesn't last that long. One twenty six. Is that the fastest RC thing you ever flown in your life? 
That recorded? Close to it. Close, Close to it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you, it's hard to land with that tilt, right? All right, how's the uh, battery? It's hot. It's only, now really, for speed tests. It's test, not really hot, it's, it's warm. warm. It's, it's warm. For this battery, it's hot, though. I've it's never had motors. this battery get warm. Motors are not nothing. They're warm, a little warm. A little warm, but not not like, not like the battery. Not burning burn. I mean, that's not even that hot, really. I mean, that's, that's not that. The VTX I mean, is hotter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not that. It's just been used, that's what the problem. So, basically, um, these props, I don't, I mean, they're 5149s. I'm wondering if some of the noise was the actual props or if it was maybe the air in the, under the canopy. Oh, yeah. All right, the cool thing about this pocket radar here, we can recall the speeds. So, you had a 32, 29, 49, 126, 126, 112, 109, 106. 47 was obviously when you're going past yeah. it. So, looks like 129. Did we have 129? 126. Okay, yeah. 126, sorry, I thought, I guess. 126 twice, 126, though. yeah. And I had two pretty even passes, like yeah. 126 with the 1300. That's impressive. I wish I would have had the 1500. Oh, well, gotta know, right? So what we have here today, we have the Longbow 1300s, which is not the yeah. ADC. Now, we have the 1500 Cs, which we yeah. should have brought. Used it on plenty of videos. Okay. We've used this in the last couple of videos I've done the pickles with. So it's been around a minute. Um, this is a brand new GMB. I just charged it for the first time. So, and now we're strapping on the uh, brand spanking new GMB 1500. What's that, the ADC or 100C? 130C. Oh, 130C, what? That noise has to be the props. Yeah, I think it is the props. And I think with them flexing, we can definitely get faster speed. So just let you know, you're going kind of cross downish wind. This way. Not that it matters. I don't think quads, I mean, yeah, it has effect with the wind, but not, not like airplanes. Yeah, you done out that one, you get more. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll run out there and see if we get anything. <laughs> 108. 108. He's landing. See the old airplane guys, if you yell landing, you gotta clear the runway, but the quad guys they land in each other's faces. <laughs> Oh, look at that skid. Good landing. Good. All right, so 106, 103, 106, 126, 102, 26. That must be 127. All right. Wow. Well, a couple. Yeah. So this is definitely working. Yeah. Remember the old Huns? We had some bad problems with them. So 127. One mile an hour. You just fast. got scared of standing out there with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's the uh, the battery? Battery's fine. Motors are fine. It feels like a little, little, little cooler, but I don't. I mean, it's very, very close. Well, it's also a fifteen hundred. Yeah. And I flew them both about a thousand mil or eleven hundred milliamps into them. Okay. On my uh, current sensor, so this one technically should have a little more battery left. The other yeah. one got more di over discharge or not over discharge, but more Just, discharge. Right. So yeah, we are definitely gonna. So in theory, at one hundred thirty C, this has a lot more punch. 
But I have a feeling we probably would have gotten better with the longbow 1500 1550, yeah. or the 1550 yeah. uh, ADC, even, uh, despite it being a lower C rating, which goes to show you that C ratings don't always matter. Exactly. Um, sometimes it's just better quality packs. They don't exaggerate numbers or other right. companies underrate their best. This thing are barely on the, the Nilox. So if you end up using something like a dowel prop or something with a thicker hub, you're gonna want low profile prop nuts. All right. Definitely a little meaner of a pitch sound. No, I didn't hear that noise. I'm gonna run out there and see if we get a reading this time. I think you will, but. Missed it, I'm too slow. One oh nine, one oh nine. All right, it's working. Wonder if the battery's sagging before I get to it. Man. Definitely didn't sound as as mean. as mean for sure. So I think we actually lost, well the pitch speed was lower too, so that's yeah. Probably. 126. That's definitely same same speed. 128. That's it right there. 130. Oh my gosh. All right, so the the prop sucked for full speed. Oh my gosh. Granted, those props probably are better through 90% of the curve. But that last 10%, you're getting cavitation. Which, which props are better for 90%? The, oh, the stock props. The stock props. props are probably good for overall oh, like right. racing. You're right. But if you're actually just, just trying to get balls out full speed like we're doing here, then the props start cavitating. Right. So, so it they'll get you to speed quick, but it's not good for full speed. All right, we got to be safe behind your net. We don't want a major malfunction in our faces. <laughs> uh, the tag towards the end of that because that was a really long stretch pass. So I want to cut this pass down a little bit shorter. Line it up a little bit. You know, I, I have not been counting the, the number of uh, passes you're getting. The bigger ones are... Man, that thing is vertical to the ground. That is nuts. You're almost, you're, you're almost like a, like a hundred degrees versus ninety degrees. Last pass. Last pass. Last pass. Okay, I'm landing. All right, he's landing. Minute and fifty-three. Arm. Arm time was a minute fifty-three. So you're not you're not gonna get much flying time. I mean, we're just doing full speed passes. Yeah. All right, just check it out. Here we go. Forty-six. 29, 30, 31, 109, 126. Mm -mm. Oh. 130. Mm -hmm. Wow. You get the faster toward the end right there. 
Yeah, I was just getting 130, one, 112, 112, one. So 130 did not go faster. Didn't. Wow, that holy cow! Surprise. And and I did I did clear this out. I clear it out every time, because otherwise you would see all those other readings we're getting. But I guess the packs are so similar. Well, I think a couple of these passes too. I started lower trying to get it, but it was kind of coming down. Yeah. I should have started a little bit higher to get my to enter into that speed. That's right. So I think that's right. Screw. Yeah, things. but I mean, you're only talking a couple percentage points. Probably. But the batteries are close in performance. Yeah. So one brand's 80C is another brand's 130C. <laughs> well, 130 miles an hour. It's fast as hell. I. Um, that is the fastest thing I've ever seen on a radar gun in terms of RC. Yeah, I'm sure there's faster, but this right. thing is uh, what, what 230 we, bucks out of the Anything box? we have yeah. done, yeah. Um, as Will said, this is a less than $250 quad, a 20-ish dollar battery, gets yeah. you, the, I mean, the, the best performance I think money can buy right now. Well, also, the, I mean, the lollipop antenna, the video feed was nice and clear with the TBS Unify with that lollipop antenna, um, and it also has a uh, Foxy Predator camera in it, and man, the FPV footage was just, it was great for, yeah. for analog signal. It was nice and crisp and clear. The image was great in the sun. Didn't really matter. Um, so I got to give them props for choosing that camera. Yeah. Um, I think they did a really good job with this one. Uh, everything just worked. I mean, there was zero anything to do. Right. It was just, it, it's, it's just good. It's just oozing, like you say, oozing just performance. It's just awesome. Yeah. But this is not a beginner quad in any way, shape, or form. Right. This is, in the wrong hands, a murder weapon. Right. <laughs> and as you so. see here, we, we are at a field, a designated flying field, because this guy, a little too fast for the shop. I wouldn't be taking this to your local park. Where Let's talk batteries real quick. We had the Longbow ADC, which is labeled ADC. Yeah. And we had the GMB labeled 130C. Yeah, and, and not the only that, Longbow the... was a 1300, which yeah. was a lower milliamp. So you would think, in theory, the higher milliamp, higher C rating would just blow the, the doors off of the, the lower you battery. You think, but not, I mean, just because it's the numbers on there doesn't mean it's right. not necessarily true, but like the internal resistance checking between two on the eye charger, they were both reading, I think, four milliohms internal resistance, yeah. something like that. So if the internal resistance is similar, similar capacity, they're going to be about the same performance. Right. When we did the speed test with 2017 model, the longbow outperformed the tattoo. Correct. So the longbows are not bad batteries. You guys need to take a look at them. And if you really, really want good performance, take a look at those longbows. They have the uh, what metal plates in them? Yeah, they have metal plates top and bottom so they don't puff up and swell right. as 